Hello! Welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are working on the Williams Travel Time again. And we are going to remove pop bumpers. Just in case you don't know how to get your pop bumpers off, I'm going to show you. It's a little tricky, but we're going to get through it. Each pop bumper body has two screws that hold it down. So let's get those two screws out and I will show you what the screws look like. I may have to get my magnet out to grab them. I can't get my fingers down in there to show you to get them out. There are these wood screws with the heads like that because they like countersink down into the pop bumper bodies. So we'll get all six of them out. And then we gotta flip the play field over to get them out the rest of the way. Because we have to do stuff underneath the play field to get all these puppies out. So let's flip over over to Playfield. All right, we're flipped over as you can see. Three pop bumpers, all sandwiched in there good. So this is gonna be fun. I have to get all three of them out. I'm gonna do like one and with you guys. And then the rest we're gonna do on my own. Maybe more, I don't know. All right, where are we? Okay, we'll need the 5 sixteenths nut driver to get these two off here. There are two nylon nuts. Just a little nylon nut. There's two of them. You need a soldering iron too. Don't let me, you forget, you know, don't want me to tell you that you need one, but you do need one. It's the um, socket for the pop bumper body is soldered down into there. So I'm just gonna get a little bag here and put these screws in there so I know myself where they go. All right. Now there's three screws that hold this pop upper body down. There's one, there's two, and then there's one behind it you can't see. So naturally I'm just gonna do that one behind it you can't see. This is going to be a, a removal, rebuild, and reinstall video. Okay, see how that comes out? Now you can see the three screw holes. You can see where the two nylon nuts went through, and they attach to these. This is your chrome ring that goes through the game. Now it's going to be very hard for you to see. So I'm going to try to move you. There, you can see one of them. There's one tab right here that comes up. And you can just see a little bit of it. There you go, you can see the other little bit right here. I'll wiggle it. There you can see it, there. Um, There. You see me wiggling it? That's the post that comes up through the bottom of the play field that has the, that's the light socket for that. So we're just going to heat this up with the soldering iron and get these wires out of the way. Takes a little bit. Here. 
There's one. And there's two. I'll let that cool down. So if I let it go and it's hot enough, it'll just resolder itself back to the post. I'm going to take, hold this, and then try to bend these up a little bit. So when I pull it out of play field, it doesn't chip the wood. You ready? Ta-da! And it left part of it on the play field. There. This got stuck on the play field. This went like this. It goes on there like that. But the post broke off, so I can't really show you too good of how it went. Maybe I'll just shove it through. So I know most of you that watch my channel have seen this time and a time time again over and over I can't get it through so I'm just gonna push it down there it sits like that the wires come all the way out but I can't get that one back through because it's it's broke but that's normal a lot of times you got to re rebuild these but yeah you can see the pop bumper body's got a hole rotted in it it's from these original 44 bulbs they get so hot they dry out the plastic and then they just destroy the bodies Everything else looks like it can be rebuilt. The springs can be cleaned off. Let's widen you back out a little bit. Sometimes I wish this thing would go faster. They can be cleaned and reused. This can be reused. I'll take a pick and I'll pull the broken parts off of it. Um, the light socket I will reuse. I will clean it off and I'll actually throw this in the rock tumbler. We'll clean it off, get it all nice and clean. 44 bulb garbage. And then we will um, throw this in the garbage. That is not needed. And that's how you remove a pop bumper body. Now the next part is we're going to get to rebuild it. But first I'm going to get these other two off. All right, now we're going to get to rebuilding them. This is very, very easy to do. Um, very easy. But if you're watching, maybe it's not. Maybe you don't know exactly what to do. So, we're going to show you. Now that we got these off, as you can see, I got that whole bar out of my way. We're going to unscrew these two screws here. screw out. We're going to set her over here out of the way. Take another screw out. This is why it's so easy. Take that other screw out. Put it over there out of the way. This comes right off like that. This you're going to push down. Note how these two are opposite of each other. This one slides in like that, and this one slides in kind of backwards. And then you got your spring. So these pieces we're going to set over here. I actually need to get a Scotch Bright pad because I don't have one. I don't have one with me. Green Scotch Bright. I use that for everything. Um, little blue rag, bottle of naphtha, love the naphtha, I'm going to clean all these parts, it's going to wipe them off. Like I've stressed before in other videos, 
That should be mounted up there or something. I'm talking about this. I'm just resting my arm on it. Didn't even know it was there. Just bumped it and it went straight down. <coughs> clean your parts. You got them apart. Why not clean them? Clean pinball machines, a happy machine. That's what I always say. Plus there's probably a little grease, a little dirt, whatever on here. Just clean it all off. Just go around and wipe the naphtha. I like naphtha a lot. Naphtha is, um, I've been told several other times, it's basically lighter fluid. So if you can't get naphtha, basically I think if you live in California, um, you can get lighter fluid. And then we're going to wipe this off. Get that all nice and clean. Normally I do this video in a couple different parts, but I figured this would be a... Just to do one whole thing. There, we got that clean. I like taking the spring. I just like rubbing it on the scrubby pad. Like that. It just gets it nice and shiny again. See? Now we're going to take this bracket, push this up through it, get our spring on it. We're going to hold it down with our fingers like that. We take our little metal plate, put it on like that, and then tuck it down underneath there like that. Now we're going to take our Bakelite whatever pad. You notice how it's a little war right there? And it's not really war right there. So we're going to use the not war side and put it on the bottom of it. You know, this looks hard to do. This one is actually hard for some reason. There we go. That's what it will look like. This Bakelite piece is what's going to trigger your switch. For your points. See how we get it all in there like that, nice and neat. And we're going to set that to the side right now. Now we're going to take a piece here and we're going to clean all the dust and whatever, whatnot off of it. Spec the coil stop. If this coil stop is damaged, you can try to file it to get it you know, smooth again or whatever, or you're going to just have to replace this whole bracket. I haven't seen one that's damaged or where I had to replace the bracket yet. So, I wouldn't expect yours would be damaged. I haven't seen one yet, and I've done plenty of these. Alright, that's clean. We'll set that off to the side. Coil, we're going to push the sleeve out. Sleeve comes out. Sleeve goes into the garbage. We have no need for used sleeves. We're going to wipe everything off. Get this all nice and clean looking. Again, this doesn't do anything if it's clean or not. It's not going to improve anything. However, it looks so much better when you got it clean and you put it back together versus dirty. You're taking the coil sleeve, coil sleeve goes down through the top like that, and it should poke through the bottom. Yeah, got my dusty finger on it. All right, this will go like that. See, now this just drops down right back on there like that. Now, see, I'm going to hold, how I got my fingers right here, two fingers on the bottom, and my thumb right here. I'm going to hold that tight, like that. I'm going to take these two screws and put them back in here. If I can line up the holes. Let me just be a little loose right now first so I can get the hole started. Get that started a little bit. It's a little crusty for some reason. Don't know why. Let's 
get that one in there. Okay, we got them started. Now this is all loose. Now I'm going to pinch it tight as I can and tighten these two screws back up. What that does, it's going to keep this whole assembly rock solid, tight together, like it needs to be. Snug these down tight. They have lock washers on them. Some of them will have nuts on other machines. These just have lock washers on it. Snug them down. There, that's rebuilt, fully rebuilt, cleaned, working properly, and that will be ready to go back in when we're going to do the switch, which will be on the next part of the video. But I have to, this is going to be weeks away probably, I have to do more work on this, but for you it's going to be probably about three seconds. All right, and we're flipped over. So we're going to actually work on a different one. I know it's going to shock you guys, but I did do some work on these. And actually they're all three installed, except for I haven't been underneath here yet. So what I'm doing, I'm just bending these down. Get these all out of my way. make it easier to solder and get stuff done a little easier like that bend that like that I'm gonna take this wire no you can't see too good um, but I'm gonna take this post the wire from the light try to get under this blob if I can So that's where it's going to get soldered back onto. Let's get that right over there like that. Okay. Now we'll go like that. Yeah, that will be good. Like that. That'll be perfect. I will need a little screwdriver here. To hold it, I'm probably going to need my flux too. Just to make things a little easier, take a little bit of flux, put it on there. I like using flux for this, it just helps. Um, Let's call it a adhesion promoter. Even though it's really not, it's it's kind of like a cleaner. It does help with adhesion though. Kind of like kind of like preps both of the parts. That's soldered. And that's soldered. Pretty easy, huh? All right. Well, those are both nicely soldered down. <sighs> dee, 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 dee. All right, um, let's clean the spoon off. First of all, we will um, jerk the camera. Off. Get my nap on. 
and a paper towel. Oops, and I bumped you again. What would it be without if I didn't bump the camera once? You know what I mean? This you want clean of all debris. I used to grease these. Um, I kind of grease them now only for my own games. I don't really get grease them for customer games anymore. The reason why is once the grease gets a little dirty, you might have to get in there and clean it. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make all the customer games as maintenance free as possible. So now I do not grease that. I just don't. I'll put these screws back in, not all the way. Cause I'm gonna show you how to adjust this. Adjust it pretty easy actually. You do need the screws down most of the way. See how it's still loose? I'm going to hold my finger, press down really hard. Yeah, as you can see it's still moving a little bit. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. No movement. We had a little bit. The switch, whole switch, has to go over this way. So a lot of times I can just press my finger on it. Let's do this. Get the back down. Tell me we need to turn it. There we go. Now we got it set. Let's just hope it stays set now. Is perfect right on center. I lift it up and it doesn't move. I go underneath and it does, which is good. All right, I'm gonna set some of the gap right now on this because it's just too tight. I'm going to get it so a credit card can fit in there. That's about perfect. The thickness of a credit card. So wherever the ball hits it, it's triggering the switch. There. Sometimes you get to bend that spoon tilt it down like that that lets the engagement this way work better you can see how it works really good that way but that way it doesn't change the gap on the switch stack again. Since I bent it, I changed the arc of the spoon. Get back to my credit card size. And I got movement. Movement. A little bit more tighter. 
I will probably still have to readjust these later. That looks really good. This was rebuilt, remember? Now make sure when you put this down, it doesn't touch these. Push the ring up. We're not touching any of the metal anywhere. We'll put our first screw in. We got our bag full of nylock nuts and other screws. Can we dump this out into something? screws started. These are always fun to start. Once you get them started, you're good though. Ooh, come on, get on now. This is where it pays to have really tiny hands. There we go. There's a five sixteenths. Take those down. No need to he man them. You just tighten them till they stop, and that's it. A couple more screws. There you go, Bob's your uncle. And that's it, perfectly working. Pop bumper. Yeah, and that's it. Now I got two more to finish off camera. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I will show you that gap on the switch if I can. I don't know how good I can get you in on it. there you can see the gap right there it's credit card size and when I hit the, the skirt you can see how it's making you can see this the white part right here move and that hits the spoon wherever I move it it connects that and this connects this switch right here so when it pulls down, that's how you get your point. That's yeah, actually really good too. Usually you don't have to adjust this one. This one you usually do all the time after you put a new um, skirt on. It just, they get, you know, this wore after a while and then your original skirt's a little shorter. Plus, you know, I clean the springs off and everything so they do get a little bit more spring to them. That's about it. So there will be cool stuff right across here on the bottom. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And later.